Nick, in London, England, a place where myself, my wife Terry, and my son Scott are going to be going to in September, I think there's a, there's a hi-fi show at some race course, Ascot, Mascot, something. And we are going to show the FR30 for the first time, which is kind of exciting. So yeah, I'm, you know, I'm going to go hit up uh, some airline, <laughs> arrive in Heathrow. And, and I haven't been overseas since the pandemic. I mean, this, is, this will be a big trip for us. So I do look forward to seeing everybody in London, England. I guess it's outside of London. But I'll, I'll come into Heathrow. We'll have lunch at the Giraffe, which is my favorite little restaurant there in Heathrow. And then our distributor, Kevin, will pick us up and drive us out to some race course. And we're going to set up uh, the FR30s, the new BHK 600s. So that'll be really fun. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Anyway, as my mother-in-law used to say, uh, Nick in London writes to me and he said, I had a question regarding the transfer of PCM source material to DSD. Uh, in this case, it's a remaster of my favorite movie score, Blade Runner by Vangelis, which was remastered in PCM, the source file that they had, and then transferred to DSD for SACD release. I own the SACD. It's a beautiful album, and the engineer did a fantastic job remastering this. But if the source file was originally 88.2, 24-bit, and then transferred to DSD, is there any benefit in that conversion rather than just a simple high-res PCM download being released? Well, the quick answer to that is no. Not much. But, of course, there's always the fine details, right? So a couple of things. Let's just, because there's a couple parts to this question that I want to kind of address. In general, in a simple sense, if you take an original PCM recording and you simply convert it over to DSD and put it out on an SACD, it technically isn't better for sure and it's probably a little worse because in order to go from PCM to DSD, we have to put it through a, a filter. Now, at Octave Records, we have a filter that, um, that can go the other way, DSD to PCM without any affect. But going from PCM back to DSD requires basically an A to D converter, a sigma delta modulator, and there's always going to be some manner of loss with that, even if it's very small. Now, having said that, a couple things to think about. First off, most high quality DACs sound better when they're playing DSD than they do playing PCM. And Ours, our DAC, absolutely does. So two identical files, one's PCM, one's DSD. The DSD is going to sound better because the process within the DAC is so very different that it sounds different. We hear that difference. So even if the files were identical, you're probably better off with a DSD version in a DAC that is specifically built for DSD uh, playback. Okay, so that's one thing. And, and that's just equipment. The other thing and the other part to this question is if it was truly remastered, meaning that somebody took the PCM file, put it out onto a mastering deck, that means that they've likely converted it to analog, maybe, or they've done some remixing to it. In any case, at some point, that's going to have to go through a D to A converter into analog. This is the likely sequence of what they've done. And then go through an A to D converter into DSD. And in that process, in that mastering or remastering process, there's a likely chance that if they knew what they were doing, they could have gotten a more 
analog sound to it, a more lifelike sound to it. So, in summary, technically, no. In a practical sense, because of the differences in the DAC and the differences in the way that they master and remaster, it could quite possibly be better. And that's why. All right. Thanks for the question. Thanks for letting me have a chance to babble on about this stuff. <laughs> I truly appreciate it. Take it easy, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.